Okay, so I decided to put the new license plate on my bike, um, and it turns out uh, the Iowa plate is a different shape than my new one, uh, and it's got fixed holes instead of the uh, slotted ones like the Iowa plate does. So uh, <laughs> there's uh, yeah, it's a lot of a lot of work for a license plate, right? Uh, this piece actually goes on the bottom of the tail light like this. And this is a factory mudguard that I cut down, um, and I, I did have one of those edge tail lights. Um, the early kits didn't ship with the right bracket. Now they've fixed that. Um, you can see the the little holes right there, and right there that I drilled for the Iowa plate. Well, the new one's even wider than that. So uh, what Rowan and I are going to do is, uh, oh, come here, Rowan. Um. Hold this piece of aluminum. We're gonna put. It's cold. Yeah, I know it's cold. We're gonna put the plate on it, and then we're gonna put the bracket on there like that. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna trace it, mm -hmm. and then we're gonna cut it out. So we've got a plate backer, so it doesn't destroy our license plate because it's kind of our mud flap right now. Mm -hmm. And then uh, it'll also be the mounting bracket you for can the bike. Put it on my hands still. Okay, not that cold. So does that sound like a plan? Mm -hmm. I mean, can, can I please do a tracing? I'm gonna yeah. trace and then color it. Sure. Yay. So we can need, we could either use that or stainless or regular steel. I don't want to use stainless because I've only got thick stainless, and I don't want to use steel because it will rust. So aluminum's the lightest and the strongest for its size um, and weight. So we're gonna use that. Okay. And it's easy, it's super easy to work with in shape, which is another reason I'm doing because I don't want to try and grind stainless. Okay. Cool. Okay, so there we've got it all traced out, and then uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut it out, and then we'll uh, drill holes, and Rowan will bolt everything together. Okay, so uh, here's the final product, and uh, fun fact, those little reflectors I use for license plate bolts, um, I've had that on my main bike for my entire motorcycling life. Um, they were on my first bike, and they've been on the main bike I use uh, ever since. And I just got some plastic ones to hold my uh, iron butt uh, backer plate on there. Um, so, uh, yeah, there it is. Uh, I just cut it all out, used a round file to get the corners, uh, used a flat file around the edges. I didn't clear coat it or anything, so it's going to get all beat up, and aluminum's pretty good outside anyway. So, uh, uh, we'll see how that one fares. I'm sure it'll be a lot better than just uh, having my license plate hang out there. So, uh, yeah, nice, tough plate backer mount done.